name is Zainab. So today we are going to be talking about SQLite. SQLite is a software library that provides a relational database management system. The light in SQLite, SQLite means lightweight in terms of setup, database administration, and required resource. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I have op I have already opened a file and named it TeamStorm. But if you want to open a file, go to File, click on New File, go um go to Save as um a the window will pop up and save the file as whatever you want. I am saving it as teamstorm.py. Always make sure that the .py extension is there so that your Python editor can always open the file whenever. You can also change the location of the file through the tab. Yes, that tab. So you can change location of your file. So I'm not going to save it because I already have the file I'm going to use. Um, now you start with um, import SQLite 3 now SQLite you do not have to download anything because it is a part of the Python package so just right type import you just import it in so now we're going to get a variable and we're going to I'm going to name my own storm so um, from the variable we are going to represent the database here the data will be stored in the example.db file so we're using team as an example. So uh, once you create, once you connect it, um, it will do it one or two things. If there is no database called team, it will create one, or it will connect the database that if the database called team exists, it will connect it to the file. So once we have a connection, we are going to create a cursor. So, um, but before we create the cursor, we are going to um comments you know comments are very important when writing code in python because it helps you if you're coming back to your code it helps you um, remember what you did and what some other things so we're leaving another comment for the cursor then we are creating it now Software and call it execute method to perform the SQL command. So after that, we will create tables. <sighs> um, so you can see me creating a table here. So we made the tables with four with four um, entries: first name text, last name as a text, email as a text, and point as an integer. So um, the SQLite natively supports null, integer, real text, and blob. So um, this. Python types are list now can be sent to SQLite without any problem with the Python.
um, commit dot commit is to save to the database while the close dot close is to close the whole connection so now we are now if you check you see that the database team has been saved so now we're going to go we're going to download A, um, we're going to download and install uh, SQLite database browser so that we can see the database that was created. So we are going to open the browser, um, select our database, then um, we are going to view the browser. So you can see the four columns name, first name, first name, and yeah, so, and yeah, so now I am going to show you the alternate method of creating the database. So just copying some things. So this is just the um, types of um, the types that was just the types that are allowed for SQLite database. So we're going to put rep uh, records, single records now into our file. So. just some um, random details of someone whose first name is Jane, last name is Doe, email is jindo at gmail.com and her points are too. You can see automatically it has updated, the database has updated and her details are there. So that now, um, that's our primary key. So now I'm going to show you how to 
um, do multiple inputs which we are going to do in the form of a list so we just commented the one at the top so that the it, it is in red and we are pasting it again so teammates is the name of our collection of data of um, people so then we just make random details about them The question marks um so you can see that it's referring to the file the file the team storm file so yeah execute many so that it knows that it is so if we refresh you can see that it has updated with the details of all our members with the first one being our primary key which is So I'm just going to show you some other methods on how to select from how to select values from the details given and all that stuff. So yeah, just um, watch and you should understand. You should understand. So I just need to print out each row. Then I um check the output. So 
No, I just need to print it out. Directly. And that is our output. So, we've up, we are going to upload the database. And there we go. There we go. So, I'm just going to show you what happens if um, you um, comment and come like if you remove the comments on some of the lines of code I wrote. So select row ID from members is actually you are selecting each um this thing. So I'm just showing you um what the output will be like if we make different changes to it. So we're just going to replay, we're just going to play around the lines of code, change a few things, we'll upload the database, upload the database and check what it will look like. So, yeah. So,
so we deleted all rows greater than row 7 so now we have the original database back and thank you for watching this tutorial that is the end of the tutorial